I, uh, I'm going to be uh, uncharacteristically brief because I have to tell you, um, your eyeballs can roll around in your head a little bit after listening to uh, stuff that you don't understand. And I, I have to tell you, it is, it is truly amazing how much this neighborhood knows about its nature, its waterways, and its environment. And uh, as I have said before, I never confess, I uh, never, never pretend that I know everything about everything. And you guys, I, I, you know, you lost me about half of this stuff. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will tell you that uh, I did ask the question about cleaning up uh, the derelicts in the creek for a reason, and uh, I, you know, I, I, uh, would, I would hope we'll be able to, uh, within the 10 million or whatever, how many millions of dollars um, this project, you know, is. And of course, it wasn't cut because they're obligated under, under a, a contractual agreement to do this. So of course it wasn't cut, um, that they will find the money to do what they have to do to clean the derelicts out of the creek. And if they don't, um, we have to see what the price tag is, and uh, we'll, we'll address it then. But uh, I'm hopeful that they're going to do that. Uh, just very quickly, I think George has a list of the worst ponding conditions on the courts for me tonight. Yeah, uh, not all of them. Not we, all of them? Uh, OK. What, what we have furnished thus far were the, uh, the obvious. But as we keep going around, without rain, it's hard. Without to rain? <laughs> what, what name are you in? Without rain? Why don't you have to stop and give it, give it an hour? We're going to have, gonna have it again. Um, so, all right, so you'll get back to me very shortly, uh, and then we will have another, we will have DOT back to look at all of them so that, you know, it's not uh, just one or two. Um, uh, second, uh, I, I have to thank Terry Scavo for this. Uh, the Department of Transportation is looking at um, remodulating the traffic uh, patterns on Gerritsen Avenue, generally north of the old, uh, you know, the old neighborhood. Um, you know, kind of like Avenue U north. Um, they chose to contact the community board about that, uh, not the elected officials about it, uh, or the civic associations about it. And fortunately, Terry. Uh, said, uh, you know, she called my office and we said we don't know anything about it. She invited us to the meeting, uh, and I haven't had an opportunity to review uh, that plan. Um, but frankly, I don't think it is my decision. Um, and what I want to have happen is for DOT to meet uh, with the property owners, GB Cares, the Brigham Co-op leadership, uh, Matt, uh, Matt, Marie Madison Civic, uh, Marie Park Civic and have everybody at the table so that they can explain what they want to do and we can get a, a response from all of the communities along Garrison Avenue as to whether or not we want those changes made. I, the irony is I suspect that the reason that they started looking at it is because I've sent them numbers of letters about uh, the, the very beginning of Garrison where they had that kind of turn lane right into the middle of traffic, um, which I, you know, at Garrison and Nostrand, which I think it's just a, a fatality waiting to happen. And so we, we said, you know, you got to take a look at those intersections right around there again. And maybe they started to look at all of Garrettson again. Uh, and so we'll be back to you with that. And we'll be inviting you. Well, I'm assuming that they're going to agree to the meeting. Um, we're inviting you, the community board and whatnot, both community boards, because Garrettson is kind of both, uh, to, uh, to the table. Um, the B3, B4 bus issue, um, we have not gotten a response to our uh, letter to the MTA asking them to restore uh, the service as it was or to compensate for it in some other way. Uh, so we sent the letter out a few days ago uh, saying, hey, where's our answer to this letter? Uh, we're not going to be ignored. So uh, uh, we've CC'd a number of you on, uh, on that letter. You should be getting it in the mail because uh, you know, I, don't, I'm not, I don't take being ignored very well. Um, I know there were other things. Oh, yeah, the GB, G, the, uh, GB Cares Parks Department issue hopefully will be resolved by Friday. Uh, I think we're just waiting for a letter. We've called Parks and you know, they got, we got the letter. We just don't have it on letterhead. We want it, you know, I don't know why it would take a week and a half uh, to get uh, a letter put on letterhead, but that should be resolved hopefully satisfactorily uh, to everybody uh, very, very shortly. And what else do we have? All right, number one. Uh, I, we asked about a U-turn sign in front of the library, and I know uh, we you, requested wrote, that. you requested that. Uh, Diane Sullivan, 
asked about the crosswalk to Cedar Park that well. because that's a rough place. That she didn't, she, not only that, but we, we asked for that push button traffic light, you know, so that, you know, you, you can, you know, you push the button and. Right. It's always green unless you have to cross right. the street and press right. the button. And, turn and we've requested that as well. <laughs> I mean, we didn't, you know, we haven't gotten an answer yet. Right. On either of those. We, 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 those letters went out within days of the last meeting. All right. Anyone else? Uh, we thank well, you talked out. Us. That's it. No? Well, yeah. you know, we, uh, we've had our birds and our fish and our crabs. And <laughs> fish got to swim and birds got to fly. So, uh, uh, well, we thank you. Well, I, I thank you all. And, uh, Before we go on, I want to uh, mention John Douglas, president of GB Cares. John recently got on the telephone, got the, uh, the new manager who was just, just recovering from a horrific auto accident. I guess John dragged him out of his hospital bed and convinced him to send people down to do the trimming that the Parks Department has ignored ever since they cut uh, GB Cares out of using power equipment across the air. John, do you have anything to add? Thank you. I'll tell you what happened. I don't know if it was exactly my phone call, but Alex is out of commission. I do have his, his cell phone number, and I did call him at home to ask him how he's doing, of course, to be nice to me. I said, listen, Alex, we're having our street fair Sunday, and I really need we have them to be clean. He said, we have people who are going to walk back and forth on the sidewalk. He'll give you a black eye by not having this clean. So he said, he has a blitz team that was working in another park. He said, I know it's the last minute. He said, I'll see what I can do with you. And sure enough, the next day, they had a group down here. And I was impressed with that. I was even more impressed the next day when there were three large mowers and another eight crew. I don't know. I know they were probably getting more pressure from other places. I know many phone calls were made. I'd like to think it was my phone call, but I'm not going to take credit for it. But I did make a phone call to him, and I don't know if that's what got him to move. But, uh, yes, John. We're hoping that uh, that's what did it. But anyway, I told him I look forward to working with him when he comes out of it. He said maybe in the next two weeks he'll be back in the office and I'll be speaking with him when he comes back to work. So we're looking forward to working. Thank you. It looks great. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. One more thing. I did get a letter uh, concerning this change on Garrison Avenue and what they want to do, and I already spoke, I think would be our position, is, on, is absolutely not. They want to eliminate a left hand turn on the Avenue, and they want to go only straight ahead and right hand at Avenue and Garrison, which is a bad idea because, as we all know, when there's any problem, on the Belt Parkway between Flatbush and Map Street, they all get off at Map Street to find their way around, and there's always a traffic condition at Avenue U. Now, if you take away a lane, it's going to become twice as big, three times as big be chaos. So I said, just based on that, you can't do it. I said, there's, there's no way we could possibly handle that. And I told him also, I said, being a low-lying area, in case of an emergency and we have to leave this area, you're going to create confusion by doing that. So I said, what you really need to do is speak to the property owners. You need to speak to Green Park Civic Association. You need to have a meeting with DOT before they can do any of this stuff. And I think pretty much between Green Park Civic Association and Garrison Beach property owners, you see what we did with the junior high school and that mess over there. I think if we all come out, with one voice between the two communities, I think we'll pretty much put a stop to this nonsense. So. Uh, what's the new turn? Like a new turn signed by the uh, library. Where are you? Well, no, people you know, where leave go? the library and they went for you turn. And we simply yeah, asked for a sign be placed yeah, right in front of the library. Both times we'll turn it just to a U turn. Well, that's supposed to be a U turn on, on Garrison Avenue. Anyway. Well, you go up to the end. That's it. Go yeah. 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 Okay, I Only didn't see Anthony Testaverdes. Do you have anything you want to add, sir? On behalf of Senator Gold. Senator?
Thunder senses be glass. So I can make it here and send me. 